this is the start of my video, then uh, welcome to Haute Couture. So I'm going to deal with gardening issues. Some of them are uh, personal. I mean, I don't mean to me, but I mean that affect the person doing the garden. And some of them are issues that happen in the garden. First thing I'm going to talk about today is squirrel damage. And if you look up in there, see the bark been stripped all the way up through there and that one all the way up the worst thing they do i think is they destroy trees and here's an example all the bark ripped off it's not completely ripped off all the way round but it's all the way up past the first few branches and up to where the branches um, split off there they haven't gone all the way around the trunk there's still this bit but even so that's going to severely limit its growth and its life basically this space here uh, the dogwood that's in the center there that's been planted since but in here was an acer that probably was the same height as that magnolia and the squirrels overnight the squirrels just ripped all the bark off and we're left with this area that we've now filled with various things that we wouldn't have otherwise the second thing i'm going to talk about is frost damage don't know if you can see the brown on here but it's now May the 2nd and six days ago there was a massive frost here well not a massive frost but a frost and a lot of magnolias got frosted that you can see look on the top of this box all of it has been frosted and see it from its white okay as part of my series on extreme gardening and the things that I don't know about other gardeners but I certainly do is uh, here's one of them now I have to squeeze through here which Okay, I can go through sideways, mm -hmm. but not when I'm carrying a shovel or a fork full of, man full of manure. Then I have to negotiate through there to go and feed those. And if you see how far we have to go up, look. I've got to go and feed that. That's carrying a heavy load in front and then you've got to walk through here which not only have you got cut spikes of the bush digging into your back ripping your clothes possibly but there's bits of wire digging in and scratching you um, it's not like it's a breeze Uh, so uh, yeah, I thought I'd show you that and maybe if I set the camera up here You could see it with your own eyes what I have to do. So let's get it set up Okay, we're on you have to hang on a few minutes while I can get this ready Pull.
there you go. I hope you caught that because I can't do it again. Now another issue is a slope, especially a muddy slope when it's wet and you're carrying stuff like all out to here. Now, if you ever have walked on a slippy surface while concentrating on doing something else rather than where you're putting your feet, you'll know just how hard that is. So yeah, so that's uh, another, I don't know what to call it, another one of the diff real difficulties <laughs> of gardening. And here are a number of other issues. Okay, hello. As you can see, I'm uh, a little bit covered up in protection from the wet. Uh, so hopefully that's all right. Move here. See, I've got my contraption waterproof. Uh, it's the worst weather that it could possibly be today. Uh, it's been hot, or hot for England, uh, which translates as too hot for me. Uh, it's been over 20 degrees, sun out, dry for ages, and then we had, we've had a couple of days of rain. So basically what that means is it's really muggy as well. So you're wearing waterproofs and you're getting hot inside. Anyway, that's not what I'm talk going to talk about today. Um, I'm going to talk about various uh, work practices if you work in a garden with other people uh, even if they're doing slightly different jobs to you or even if they're doing this similar work um, consideration for other people who work with you is really important now um, one of the things that is you know, I mean yeah it may seem a minor thing but here you see this cart has been left standing these have been left standing so they're all full of water Now, that means to use them, I've got to empty these out. Now, sometimes it can rain really heavily and it will fill these. So, you've, you know, if you come in and you're all dry or whatever, or you have an accidental spillage and, you know, you get yourself soaked through someone else's inconsideration. So, if you're going to work with other people, make sure you leave the barrows tilted up so they can't fill up with water. Uh, if you've got a barrow full of stuff, empty it so they don't have to go and empty it. I spend a lot of my time here emptying out stuff from barrows or the car or the trailer before I can even start working. Uh, and leave like, for example, I'm going to do it now, just so you see. And this can get pretty heavy with water. So I'm just going to empty that out. and leave it like that. These I'll empty out and then I'll lean them against the wall because I'm going to be using one of these but I would have quite liked it to have been dry inside. Anyway, uh, so what I might do, I might pick them up now and give them time to dry out. So here they are, all emptied out and propped up safely against the wall so they don't fall. Um, as you can see they held quite a bit of water so if you're short of water and it does rain anything that can collect water is worth storing to uh, you know to water your plants containers or whatever and here's an example of the kind of roots that uh, nearly always happen to be under a spot that's been marked to plant a tree so somehow I'm gonna have to get that out well, it's autumn here now, and we have had some changes. Uh, there's been a tree moved from there, and I'm in the middle of digging this hole. You can see the amount of stone that comes out. Uh, there's another one to be planted there. Uh, this Daphne's just been planted because I've already done that hole. Uh, and here's the Acer I planted on my first day back, which uh, if you haven't seen the vlog of that go and have a look because that shows you exactly what I go through well yeah what I go through to dig every hole of the trees that I've planted in here 
which are dozens, probably hundreds over the years. Uh, okay, now also there's some trees missing, uh, you can see up here the wood on the ground and in here we've taken three out yesterday all because that space there where you see the pyramidal box well just before there that space was taken up by a pine and there was also where that acer is down there that I've just showed you uh, that I did the vlog of that was a butan pine which and both of those became diseased and had to be taken out so that created space which means everything else gets rearranged uh, as you know if you buy buy a new chair for your house you need to rearrange things to fit the chair so yeah so uh, there are more to go in there so yeah so that's a, an autumn job Thanks for watching. Ta-da.